Good morning. It's Friday, March 19th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Misunderstanding, and our scripture is 1 Kings chapter 3. Give me an understanding heart so that I can govern your people well and know the difference between right and wrong. For who by himself is able to govern this great people of yours? God had promised Solomon a request. The newly ascended king prayed for an understanding heart so he could govern in a way God would approve and would be a blessing to the people. God was pleased. There's nothing better in heaven's eyes than power used correctly. The difficulties associated with a heart misunderstanding are legion. My grandmother, a sweet and normally tender-hearted person, is an example. My father was introduced to my mother by her brother. Dad and Uncle Marlon played ball together, and Elwood fell hard when he first saw Cecilia, who at first wanted nothing to do with that boy. But that's a story for another time. Back at the ball field, Marlon was the pitcher and Elwood the catcher. Uncle Marlon's mom, Carrie, didn't attend ball games except for one time. It was the time signals got mixed and misunderstanding happened. Here's how. In between innings, when teams switch from offense to defense, the pitcher will normally take some practice throws to warm up his arm before facing the first batter. When he makes his last throw, he'll step to one side while the catcher throws the ball to second base. The ball will then be thrown around the infield as something of a ritual. On that last pitch, it was Uncle Marlin's habit to step to the left side of the pitcher's mound, and Daddy Elwood, the catcher, would throw the ball to second base slightly to the right. Pitcher steps left, always. Catcher throws right, habit. Step left, throw right. One day, Grandma Carrie came to watch her son Marlin pitch. At the beginning of an inning, Uncle Marlin began his warm-up pitches. After several tosses, he nodded to Daddy Elwood that the next would be the last and the ritual would begin. Pitch, step left, catcher throws right. Only this time, Marlin stepped right. And Elwood, a creature of habit, fired the ball, also right and right into the middle of my Uncle Marlin's back. It's Brownworth family lore that there were two screams that broke the air in that strange moment. Marlin's scream of surprise pain, and Grandma Carrie's oath that Elwood must die. It was probably more than 25 years later I first heard that story, and I'm certain it grew more colorful each time it was retold, both before and since. But Dad's punchline to telling that story was always consistent, that Grandma Carrie never really forgave him for assaulting her sweet, innocent baby boy. We always laughed about it. It's easy to do that in the comfortable seat of time having passed, along with pain long ago healed. But in real time, it was something of a discomfort for Elwood, who was at a distinct disadvantage after that fateful baseball day, trying to court Marlon's older sister, Cecilia. My brother and I are living proof that he was successful, despite Grandma Carrie's conspiracy theory that that boy was plotting murder on the family. A lesson I learned from this little bit of family history is that misunderstandings happen because of many reasons, but often there are two culprits that regularly are present in the mayhem. The first is poor communication. In the case of Uncle Marlin and Daddy Elwood, step left, throw right was the habit. The failure in communication was, depending on which side of the family tells the story, the pitcher or the catcher. Marlin didn't tell Elwood he was going to step right. Elwood assumed it would be left. He just threw where he always threw. The second culprit is Grandma Carrie's jumping to conviction. When the ball game ritual went ugly, her immediate judgment was Mama Lion-like. Nobody was going to do that to her son. For you today, politics, family, church things, and friends... Hold off on the judgment. Sometime it just might be you stepping right instead of left. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.